Charles Barr. We face many challenges every day in life. Life can be very stressful. We lose sleep, we fall sick, and we can and we become unhappy. So he also knows that meditation can help us manage stress, reduce illness, increase happiness, and help us become more effective. Charles is ideally suited to speak on the topic meditation. He started meditating in 1982. That is my year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know which month? <laughs> <laughs> now we know. So he meditates up to two hours a day. So Charles will speak wow, on wow. the topic and benefits of meditation. So the time allowed for each speech is 15 minutes. There were 15 minutes for Charles. So at uh, four for him, uh, for, for Charles. So 13 minutes, the green card uh, will be flashed. And then 14 minutes in the yellow card and 15 minutes the red card. So I'd like to invite our first speaker for this evening, Mr. Charles. So meditation is magical. So therefore I'm going to show you some magic. This says meditation is magical. And you're going to see this piece of paper turn upside down without... Uh, it, will, it will turn upside down, but you won't see me do it. Are you ready for this trick? Yes. So I fold the paper. There we are. Did anyone see me turn it over? No. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. It's still the same way. Yes. Then we fold it again. Did anyone see me turn it over? No. Okay, we fold it again. And then we have to say the magic, magic words, which I need your help with. Meditation is magical. One, two, three. Meditation is magical. And then we unfold the paper. Wow. And it's the wrong way up. Wow. So let's wow. have a laugh. Wow. Sorry, I'm so shocked. I hope you'll recover. But maybe I meditate. So many famous people have meditated names. You can see up here lots of sports people as well. This gentleman, he used visualization, which is part of uh, meditation, and got the highest scoring uh, results in, in Olympic history for the United States. Not as good as some other, apparently. But what he did was he moved from visualizing, watching himself do all these amazing things, that's him in 1984, um, to actually imagine he's actually doing it. And the exciting thing is, when you visualize, it can be more powerful than you can believe. Look at this example. They tested two groups of people on basketball ability. And after they tested them, the first group had 15 minutes every day of practice. And then the other group weren't allowed to touch a basketball for three weeks. All they could do was imagine putting the basketball into the net. And as you can probably guess, yes, Group B had greater skills improvement after three weeks than Group A, who had been actually touching the ball. So the power of our imagination, our visualization is very interesting. So, the most magical people mostly meditate. I hope you like the alliteration. Make a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> The most magical, mostly meditate. <laughs> so, the question for you, I now have a question for you to put into your brain. Are you perhaps, because I suspect that some people here didn't meditate for two hours this yeah. morning, um, are you missing out on the most powerful, life-enhancing daily habit? Should you add regular meditation every day? That's what I want you to think about over the next few minutes together. So, meditation can rewire your brain. And there's lots of proof I'm going to show you here. Firstly, it can calm you down. Anyone who agrees it can calm you down, give me a thumbs up sign. What else can it do? It can make us happier. Anyone want to be happier? Yep, great. No. no. <laughs> and then, this person meditating on the sand dunes, friendships. That the more calm, the happier you are, the more good company you are, then you get more uh, 
French, deeper friendships. And creativity, there's a big link, a lot of these sources here are saying that your creativity can be enhanced by using the meditation. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Oh, it's exciting, they jump around, I like that. Okay, so now we have more things. Eventually. Immunity. Your immune system gets stronger, so therefore you aren't sick as often. Uh, you've got uh, pain relief. There's been proof that taking pain relief medicine can be less powerful than using meditation to improve your, to reduce your pain. So lots of ideas there. And then finally we have this idea of enlightenment. The idea that some people feel that they're in in, un in unison with the universe, something like that. Exciting ideas. A lot of people would say this is true as well. So there, we've shared the some of the benefits, and here we've got 14 listed today. Benefits of meditation. So if it's so beneficial, and it's free, you don't have to pay any money to sit on a chair, okay? <laughs> um, very interesting. Let's see what else we have to tell you. So enlightenment. So, consistent meditation. This is the interesting thing. The people who taught me in England back in the 1982 era <laughs> um, were saying that if you meditate every day, then the effect is exponential or cumulative. But if you miss one day and then another day, you go back a week or two in terms of your ability to become good at meditating. So, consistent meditation. So it's all to do with goal setting and planning. You say, right, I'm going to give myself just five minutes every day or ten minutes every day. And I won't miss this chance to practice something and see what happens. It's exciting. Just like the magic trick astonished so many people. Right, now what I wanted to tell you about is this Habits of Health program that I'm running along with reversing diabetes and helping obesity. The habits of health that we teach with this cover stress management, sleep, lots of areas of healthy results. And when people use, I have to remember to press the button this time, and when people use the meditation as part of it, then it increases the benefits throughout. So my recommendation is you explore upping your health and your happiness seems like a pretty important thing to do. There aren't many people in the world who would say, oh, I'm 101% happy, I don't need any more. So if you want to be a super... Uh, I remember once I was teaching at Tangling Secondary School, for five years actually, and teachers kept coming up to me. It was a time when I was doing two hours of meditation every day. They said, how come you're totally calm all day? I can just feel how calm you are. Can you? But that's what. Okay, so this is a very advanced program which comes from a New York Times best-selling program. And if someone's interested in finding out more about how to meditate, how to give overall holistic health a huge boost, then talk to me. My hand phone number is up here in some strange marble technique for you to take a photograph of or get from me later. So great. Now having uh, been through this, what I'd like to do is suggest that, as um, Lawrence was saying before we started, it's not a theory. You actually have to do it to, to find out whether it's any good. Now anyone who doesn't want to join in, you can keep your eyes open, watch everyone looking stupid, you can enjoy yourself. But the only rule about bang is you mustn't irritate the person next to you who's trying to meditate. Well, don't you. start elbowing them or anything, all right? So, of course, you're, it's a free volunteering choice whether you join in or not. I remember in Western Australia, I was doing meditation exercise with a group of teenagers, and at the end, they, I got them all to write on a little slip of paper what it was like. And after they left, I took the paper and I picked up the first one. This is the best thing I've ever done in my life. This is amazing. I thought, wow picked up the next one. This is the most stupid waste of time I've ever done. So everyone has their own responses and they're all valid. Okay. Now, um, 
I'm going to take you through a short meditation exercise, so you're very lucky. The last two sessions you've had relaxation exercises carried out for you. This time I'm not going to turn out the lights because we got into trouble for that last time. <laughs> I got organized some music for you, but the app is misbehaving, so we're going to do it with my dulcet tones. So welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. Lots of space. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you some ideas about how to meditate uh, very simply. I have a friend in Western Australia who wrote a book on meditation and it was called 101 Ways to Meditate. What we're doing here is secular meditation. I'm not suggesting it's taking you into some particular religious group, secular meditation. So what I'd like everyone to do is to tuck their bottom into the back of their chair and put both feet square on the floor. If you have a lot of paper and stuff on your lap, you can keep it there or you can put it on the floor, whatever you like. But just relax. I'll put down even the middle. And then you need to get your hands comfortable. So whatever's comfortable for you, like this or like this or whatever, you feel most comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no fornication in my class. And so what we do is we take you through some simple exercises. This will only last for a few minutes, so don't be scared that you're going to disappear off the planet. Um, so I'd like you to start off, if you will, by taking um, three slightly longer and deeper breaths. So when you're breathing in, I'd like you silently to say to yourself the sound re. And as you breathe out, I'd like you to say the sound lax. So your three breaths are going to be re, lax. So off we go now, taking the first breath in, and then relax. Let your shoulders relax. Second breath, breathing in, re, lax. Don't worry if you get out of time with me, just breathe at your comfortable rate. Breathing in, and breathing out. Doing very well, everyone's joining in. And so, now what I'd like you to do is to focus on your forehead and your scalp. As you breathe in, focus on those areas. As you breathe out, tell those areas to completely relax. Your forehead relaxes, your scalp relaxes. Two breaths like that, breathing in and breathing out. And now we focus on your mouth, your jaw, and your lips. As you breathe in, feel the focus on those areas as you breathe out. Feel them relax. Breathing in and relax. Now you focus on your spine and your shoulders as you breathe in. Tighten them up if you want, and then as you breathe out, let them relax. Second breath, your shoulders are back. Now you're feeling yourself sinking into your chair. You're feeling relaxed. Finally, I'd like you to focus on your tummy. A lot of tension builds up in the tummy. So as you breathe in, focus on your tummy. As you breathe out, feel it completely sag and relax. Who cares whether it sticks out or not? Just relax. So now you're in a relaxed state. Um, without having to go to Changi Airport, you're going on holiday to Australia. So here you are, walking in shorts and t-shirt across a field with short grass. And you can feel the grass on your bare feet. And you can feel the sun shining down, warming sun from an almost completely clear sky. Is the sun on the back of your head or your forehead? Which direction is the sun coming from? How warm is it? Green. And as you walk down the field, feeling the grass against your legs, some of it gets a bit longer, it's brushing against your ankles and knees now. You walk to a pool crystal clear pool with a firm sandy bottom that's at the edge of the field. And you stop and walk, step gently into the water, feel the water around your toes. And you wade a little further and you, up to your 
hips and you take a handful of water and throw it in the air and watch the sparkle as the drops of water fall down back onto the surface. And you think to yourself, this is great, I'm on holiday in Australia, I'm here for another three and a half weeks. It's great. And you wade across the pool further because you've seen a small waterfall on the far side of the pool. And you go to the waterfall, you put your head under the waterfall, which is quite a small waterfall, and you feel it washing all the worries of the world away from your body. Washing away, and then you look behind the waterfall and there's a mossy cave. And you climb up dripping wet over the rocks onto the sand in the cave. And you see there's a tunnel leading away at the back of the cave. You have to crouch slightly to go along the tunnel, but you can see green leaves hanging over the end of the tunnel. So being an explorer and enjoying your life, you go forward and you Reach out with your hands and push the leaves to the side and step out into a clearing in the jungle, the forest. Somehow you feel this forest is a safe place for you. You feel the warm sun again. And you notice a wooden bench in the clearing. And on the bench there's a toweling robe folded up that's been warming in the sun for three hours. And you think, there's nobody else around. Red. So make sure you don't open your eyes because you're red, thank you. And then what you do is you walk through, uh, past the wooden bench, and you take yourself along a winding path, looking at the butterflies and the beautiful creatures sitting on the branches. You put your hand on the bark of the branch, and you come out the far side of this path, and you're back in the field. It's a beautiful blanket spread out on the ground with a coloured cushion on it and you lie down, put your head on the cushion and you fall into a deep sleep knowing that when you wake up you'll feel really energised. So it's time for you now to return to the room and have a bit of a stretch and return to uh, floor 26. Thank you very much everybody.
now recently changed to Mega Toastmasters Club, where I, I see you on Friday. <laughs> you, see, you will see me Fridays, <laughs> yes, correct. And some of the faces are very familiar to me as well. And um, we having a lot of fun as well, <coughs> developing ourselves, moving on forward to new heights. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 